Have you ever said no to a role? <laughs> yes. Why? <laughs> I'm glad I'm amusing you. <laughs> what was the reason? Or if you, without naming anyone's name, uh, what was the reason? Uh, there is a very, 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 very well-known and well-respected film by a very, very, very well-known and well-respected director that was brought to me while I was working on Doogie Howser. Um, and the role was a lead role that was ultimately played by a very, 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 very famous and well-respected actor slash rapper. Um, and I read the first few pages of the script and it was, I couldn't, I couldn't relate to it. It wasn't the world that I knew. It wasn't anything I felt I could bring any justice to. Listen, I grew up in Philly, yes, but I grew up in Philly listening to big band and swing music from the 30s and 40s. I grew up watching old movies like The Thin Man and people like Humphrey Bogart and Edward G. Robinson. I grew up watching Woody Allen movies, you know? This movie was set in South Central Los Angeles and it was hardcore. And I know I have this hair and I know I'm not the lightest cat on the planet in terms of my skin, but I just, it couldn't, it did not speak to me. It just didn't speak to me. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a weird bird man I'm just a different dude and I said no and the film became incredibly successful iconic it launched the careers of just about everybody who was in it including the directors um, and I don't regret it I'm happy that everybody sort of blew up from it but I wouldn't I would have been horrible I would have been horrible in that because it's just not my world. And I left Philly and moved to Ventura and grew up with surfers. So I'm not, I'm the weirdest <laughs> dreadlock black guy on the planet. I, you know, the stuff I'm supposed to like, I don't like. The stuff I do like is weird. I'm just weird. I'm not, I am uncastable. No one's looking for me. You know what I mean? No one's looking for the black guy with dreads who's really big, who likes Woody Allen movies and big band music. Nobody's looking for that dude. Nobody. So I create things on, on my own. But yes, I did, I did say no to that film. And I'm sorry, you said no because you felt you just couldn't resonate with the character? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's nothing. You know, listen, when it comes to that kind of stuff, to me, you can be Laurence Olivier. You can have that type of talent. Um, gosh, what's the age range for film courage? Have I said a name? People aren't going to know oh, who no, that no, is. It's, it's, it's a, I will. My ego would love to think it's a wide demographic, but um, I, I think people know. Okay. Olivier, yeah. Well, well, they can look him up if they. We get one of the greatest actors in the history of the world. Uh huh. Uh, you you could be that. You could have that. Um, and you could be sitting next to a guy who grew up in Inglewood and knew a guy who is exactly like the guy in the script. And he's going to get it because there's an authenticity to that. You know, and authenticity in a lot of ways can trump just talent. Do you know what I mean? There's just something real and tangible to it. And I don't know, you know, this was, this was a really hardcore film. It was about gangs and it was about, you know, young black men who were fighting against a system that was working against them on a consistent basis on the streets, police, you know, all of that. And I'm not say, sitting here saying that I've had this like rosy peachy life and you know, police send me chocolates and whatnot, but I didn't live that life. And I know guys that have, 
And if you've lived it, there's just intrinsically, there's something that you know about it. I'm not going to know. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense, but there's just something real about that that you can't touch. Um, when I did Doogie, my character was a, a gang member. Um, he was a gang member looking to get out. And he was slowly, actually, wasn't very slow at all. I mean, when they brought me back to the show, they yanked me out of that really quickly. Um, and I think a lot of that had to do with me and who I was as they got to know me as a person. And my character, you know, kind of got pulled away from that gang stuff as soon as possible because there was just something, there was something different about having to live that life. And I have the utmost respect for people who come from that and rise and grow and, and create and, and, and are successful. And there is the word, transcend that life because it's important and it's needed. Um, I'm just not that guy, you know? How long did it take you to make that decision? Not very long. When you were presented with the offer? I think I read 10 pages. I called my agent and I said, it's not something I can do. Right away? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You didn't even give it like 24 hours, you just said. I just know instinctively. It is, no. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you know, for me, yeah. you know, when you know, you know. Right. I mean, I could have gone in there and wasted everybody's time. You know, I could have walked in and be like, yeah, what's up? And I'm like, I'm terrible at that stuff. I don't, you know, I don't even listen to rap music. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't like it. I get it. I understand. I get that it's, it's a whole, you know, like, uh, what's the word? It's like a whole lifestyle hip hop. And it's like, it's an empire in and of itself and it's transcended and it's worldwide and everybody, I know people that only listen to hip hop. Right. I couldn't tell you who is anybody. I know that I know Nicki Minaj, uh, but I haven't heard a song. I know who she is. I know she doesn't like Mariah Carey. I know that, like I know, like I know, the, I know, like all the st all the beefs I've heard. Mm -hmm. Like there's a guy Drake, and he doesn't like another guy, and they're angry at each other, so they rap at each other or something. I don't know the songs, but you know, I'm not dead. I'm on the Twitter. I know what's happening, but I don't. And when I do hear the songs, I did. It, I don't know. I don't know. I it just doesn't resonate with me. Right. I like. I like. You know. I like old school jazz and and metal nice. and i'm a weird dude man i'm just a <laughs> weird dude sorry sorry i just you know i can't it's like what i like man